When did you last see a rainbow? I remember when we last saw a rainbow in the sky. It was a couple of months ago, we were driving down the motorway and it was rainy, uh, but then the sun came out and we just saw the most beautiful rainbow right in front of us as we were driving down the motorway. And it was so bright, it was so big, it was so bold. It was absolutely gorgeous and it just made us all feel really happy as rainbows generally do. Now, because of all this beautiful weather we've been having, we perhaps haven't seen any rainbows actually in the sky, but I'm sure, like me, you've seen rainbows everywhere, which is really, really lovely. And we've been using rainbows to uh, show our support for the NHS and to spread hope to people, just as a lovely sign of colour and brightness, saying, we will get through this, we'll get through this dark time, we'll do it together, and we'll do it with hope for the future. And that's brilliant, isn't it? What a great message to send around our world. And I'm sure you've seen uh, rainbows all over houses, uh, in windows, and we've seen teddies holding rainbows. I even saw on the news the other day that a lady had chalked all the uh, bricks on the front of her house in rainbow colours, and it looked absolutely incredible. And it's just so nice and bright to have that all around our world at the moment in this difficult time. Now the rainbow, um, as many of you will know, uh, is a sign of a promise from God. In the story of Noah, when Noah and his family stepped out of the ark after the flood that destroyed the earth, God said to Noah and his family, I will never do that again. And he put the rainbow in the sky as a mark of that promise, as a seal of that promise that he was making to Noah and to future generations. And so with the rainbow, as we see it in the sky, or as we see the symbols of it around, we remember that God keeps his promises, that God is a good God who does amazing things and has done amazing things in the past and will do amazing things in the future. And we're going to be this morning at, in our Zoom service with church, we're gonna be celebrating all that God has done over the last year. We're going to be giving thanks to him for being so faithful and providing and just um, answering prayers and doing amazing things in our church and in our community. And we're going to be celebrating those things together. And what I'm going to be encouraging the young people and the children to do this morning is to use the rainbow as a way to do that. So here's one I prepared earlier. So I'm going to be encouraging them to either print one out or to uh, draw and colour one in. And then we're going to use half of it to think back to what God has done in the past and to give thanks for those things. So as we look back, we might want to say thank you to God for um, our friends, our family. So in some of the coloured sections to write different things that we're thankful for. So I'm going to write in here, family and friends. I'm going to say thank you uh, for energy and for Kangas and Roos and for the mix and for different things that have gone on in our children's and, and youth work. So I want to say thank you for those things. So we're looking back to say thank you. We're also going to be looking forward as well to say what we would love for God to do in the future. And there's a verse that we're going to be concentrating on from the Bible in a book called Jeremiah, chapter 29, verse 11. And these are God's words. And he says, For I know the plans I have for you, plans for good and not for disaster, to give you a future and a hope. And those are words that God spoke to his people. And it's words that he speaks to us today as well. That he says to us, I've got plans for your future. They're plans of hope and for goodness. Now, he doesn't say things are always going to be easy when we follow him. He never says that. And we know in this time, it's not easy, is it? It's not easy uh, not being at school, although maybe for the first week or so you thought it was. But as time goes on, maybe it's not so easy. It's not easy not being able to go to the park or not being able to just go and meet with friends and things like that. So life isn't always easy, but God promises that he will be with us and he will help us, and that he has plans for goodness and for hope for us. So on the other half of the rainbow, we can use it to look forward to what's to come, 
and knowing that we can trust God that he's got good plans and plans of hope for us. So maybe in here you might want to write some prayers for your hopes for the future. So asking God to do things, as asking God to do more than we could ask or imagine from him. So using that half to do that. So this is an amazing um, symbol really, isn't it? That we look back and we look forward and we can trust in God all the way through it. Looking back helps us to remember what God has done. Looking forward helps us to know that we can trust him for our future because he is good and he is faithful. I hope you have a really, really good day today. I hope you uh, get something out of doing this activity with the rainbow and I hope it helps you to really think about what God is like, what he's done and that you can trust him for the future. Let me pray as we finish our time together. Thank you, Lord, for today. Thank you for a new day. And we thank you for the rainbow, that it's such a sign of hope. It's such a sign of your faithfulness and your promise. And I pray that we will trust in you each day. I pray that we will know that we have strength for today and we have bright hope for tomorrow with you. Amen.